Lesson 9.1b, Finding the Value of a Power. 49 is a power of 7 because it is formed by the repeated multiplication of 7. 49 is equal to 7 times 7. That's equal to 7 raised to the second power. We can find the value of a power by remembering that the exponent tells us how many times to use the base as a factor. If we have 2 raised to the fourth power, we're going to use the base 2 four times as a factor. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. 2 raised to the fourth power is equal to 16. Remember, the exponent is not a factor. The exponent tells us how many times to use the base as a factor. If we have 5, which is the base, raised to the second power, that's our exponent, that means we're going to use this base two times as a factor. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. If we did 5 times 2, that would be 10. That's not 5 raised to the second power. This is the property of 0 as an exponent. The value of any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is one. Why? Well, each number is two times greater than the previous number, and two is two times greater than one. Here we have two raised to the third power. That's two times two times two. That's equal to eight, and eight is two times greater than four which is 2 raised to the second power, 2 times 2. And 4 is 2 times greater than 2. That's 2 raised to the first power. And 2 is 2 times greater than 1. That tells us that 2 raised to the 0 power must equal 1. If we had 4 raised to the 0 power plus 5 raised to the 0 power, they each represent 1. We'd have 1 plus 1. That would be equal to 2. As we talked about in the last lesson, the exponent only affects the base it's next to. If we have a fraction 3 fourths and there's a little exponent next to the numerator, well, then that exponent is affecting the 3, not the 4. That means we have 3 times 3 over 4. That would be a 9 over a 4, wouldn't it? That would be a fraction greater than 1. If we have a fraction and the denominator has an exponent, well, that means we have 3 over 4 times 4. That would be a 3 over a 16. That would be 3 sixteenths. Here we have 3 fourths inside parentheses raised to the second power. This means the entire fraction is the base. 3 fourths is the base. So we're going to do 3 fourths times 3 fourths. We use parentheses to indicate the entire fraction is the base or an entire expression is the base. If we have 2 plus 3 raised to the second power, we have 2 plus 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. That's equal to 11. If we have 2 plus 3 inside parentheses, and that is raised to the second power, well then, we're going to do 2 plus 3, which is 5. That means we have 5 raised to the second power, and 5 times 5 is 25. The exponent only affects the base it's next to or the fraction or expression inside parentheses. So to find the value of a power, we identify the base and the exponent. We have 4 raised to the third power. 4 is the base, 3 is the exponent. We use the exponent to know how many times we need to use the base as a factor. We have 4 raised to the third power. We're going to use the base three times. 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. We know 4 raised to the third power is equal to 64. And be careful. 2 raised to the fifth power and 5 raised to the second power do not represent the same amount. The exponent is not a factor. 2 raised to the fifth power means we're going to multiply 2 to itself 5 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. 5 raised to the second power is just 5 times 5. That's 25. 
The exponent is not a factor. Here it's telling us to evaluate these. That means we need to find out what they equal. We have 2 fifths raised to the third power. Because it's inside the parentheses, that means we're going to use 2 fifths as the factor three times. We're going to do 2 fifths times 2 fifths times 2 fifths. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. You can do a little math on the side to help you. That's 25, that's 10, 11, 12. We see that it's the denominator is 125. Here we have a decimal. We have 6 tenths raised to the second power. That means we're going to use 6 tenths as a factor two times. So we've got 6 tenths times 6 tenths. We can do it on the side if we want. We can do 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 and stack them to do it. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 0 is 0, and 3 makes a 3. And then 0 times 6 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. We don't need that because we're doing this place value. Then we add them. We have a 0, a 3, and a 6. We count the jumps in the equation. We've got one jump, two jumps. So we're going to go one, two jumps. It's equal to 36 hundredths. Here we have 1 to the 4th power. That means we're going to use 1 as a factor four times. We're going to have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Well, 1 times 1 is 1. Times 1 is 1. Times 1 is 1. It's equal to 1. Here we have 37 raised to the 0 power. Remember, any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 37 raised to the 0 power is 1. Understanding these exponents are really going to help you as we go deeper into algebra. We're finished with 9.1. We're going to move on to 9.2, which is about prime factorization. It's split into three parts, and our next lesson is finding factors of a number. Keep trying your best. I'm proud of you, and have a great day. Bye.